Chapter 164 They have plenty of chances to fight. Jia Yishen and Su Jingting were playing around in the villa, while Yi Yi was throwing a tantrum in the overseas Chinese office. How office was in a mess. She had smashed everything she could. Damn it. She never expected Jia Yishen to be waiting for her here. She had indeed dug a trap for her to jump into beforehand. Jia Yishen was really capable. She actually managed to get the surveillance video. Wasn't this clearly telling everyone online that she, Yi Yi, had followed Jia Yishen to buy the necklace when she saw her. She did it on purpose. Ye Yi was fuming with rage when her manager, Jia Kin, pushed the door open and entered. It was too late for Yi Yi to hide her embarrassment. Yi Yi had always been gentle, but now, However, she knew Zhao Kin's temper very well. She liked the artists under her to be absolutely obedient. Yi Yi said gently, In sorry, Sister Zhao. One really couldn't hold it in any longer. So we just smash something. These are all the company's things. I one will compensate you. Zhao Kin walked over the broken things on the ground. I can understand if you're angry. Yi Yi heaved a sigh of relief. Thank you, Sister Chow. It's just that ye, you can only be angry in the office. When you leave the office, you can laugh however you want, understand? Yes, sir. Zhao Qin found a seat that she could barely sit on. Later, you can post an apology on Weibo, claiming that it was a coincidence that you went to buy the necklace that day. You didn't know that Ji Yishan had just bought it. Will the fans believe this? There's no other way, if you're more sincere someone will believe you. Also, 111 arrange for you to attend some social events and see if there are any good scripts for you to act in. Okay. Thank you. Sister Chow. Yi Yi could only post on Y Bogain. I'm very sorry. When I went to buy the necklace, I didn't know that Ms. Shi Yishan had just gone to buy it. That caused so much trouble. It's my fault. I apologize to everyone again. Yi Yi voiced out for times. But the public opinion online was split equally. At worldly firework is me. Apologize again. I've said it a hundred times. What's the point? You bought fake goods and didn't even know it. Idiot. At past Rui Sui Feng. I believe you really didn't mean it. He'll always support you. At Su Jingting's sweetheart. If you have the ability, don't freeload on my best actor sus trending searches. What the hell? A third-rate celebrity who relied on a few videos online to become popular was really shameless. Get out of the entertainment industry immediately. At Reed Alliance, sluts are always pretentious. They jump up and down. They look at Mr. Su and Ji Yishan. Are they out to act? If you don't do it, you won't die. If you do it, you will die. At this nickname has been taken. Stop arguing. Maybe he really didn't do it on purpose. There were also people who accidentally bought the same model. When Yi Yi saw these comments, she became even angrier. On average, there were only one or two people who spoke up for him. To ensure her safety, the troll army she had hired previously did not dare to speak up for her. If she continued to speak, it would not look good if her IP address was found out. It was not like Ji Yishan did not have the ability to do so. The computer screen was still showing the comments she had posted on Weibo. She subconsciously tightened her grip on the mouse. The D asterisk asterisk person who scolded her was still commenting. Ji Yishan, we're not finished. Yi Yi's heart was burning with jealousy. She didn't believe that Ji Yishan could continue to be so lucky. This time, she was careless and almost lost herself. However, there was still a long way to go. They met frequently in the entertainment industry, so they had plenty of opportunities to confront each other.